Welcome back to Aeons and Legacy. We're doing Chapter 2, Among the Ruins, with Death Maiden and Astria, my two Breach Mages. Alright, uh, let's get going. We're going to do one whole round this episode, and I'm going to shuffle up the turn order again here, so uh, you know that I'm not cheating. Stacking the deck. I'm really hoping one of our uh, Breach Mages gets to go first. So we don't have that Leviathan egg evolving, but I don't know. Let's find out Death Maiden. All right, let's go over to her area here and have her take the first turn. All right, Death Maiden has a spark spell prepped to open breach one. She is going to cast it and she's going to cast it right into the face of the Leviathan egg, which only had one health left. And that is going to destroy it. So it will not evolve. This is good. All right, that card is gone. Okay, let's take a look at Death Maiden's hand. She's got a spark, the bug zapper, and three crystals. She will prep the bug zapper to open breach one. Uh, does she want to focus on another breach or end up getting uh, something? Oh boy. Uh, three crystals. And a spark. She'd have to hang on to the spark, uh, which I think she's going to just hang on to it. She's going to spend three ether, and she's going to purchase one of the ancient Kyanoliths, uh, which will give her two ether. So we're going to put that here. Then she's going to discard all her played cards in any order. She played the three crystals. She's keeping the spark in hand, which means she's going to drop four more cards. Neural Wreath, Crystal, Crystal, and one more Crystal. So she's going to have uh, this for her next hand. All right, that was Death Maiden's turn. Back we go to turn order. Back to turn order time. And this time, Astria. Okay, we are... Uh, yeah, we're getting to go first, which could be bad. All right, over we go to Astria. She's only at 8 health out of 10, so we're going to have her take the next turn. All right, Astria's turn. Uh, she has a prepped spark spell. She will fire it off into the Bladius. So he's going to be going from 40 health, knocking him down to 39. <laughs> Every little bit helps, I hope. All right, let's take a look at her hand. She's got Crystal, 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 Life Bringer, and the Neural Wreath. Ah, uh, you know what we're gonna do? She doesn't have any spells. She's gonna play the Neural Wreath. Focus any player's Breach. She's gonna focus her own Breach for. Uh, any player may prep a spell in hand. Well, that maybe is not the best idea. I want her to get all her breaches focused, though. Uh, so, I think... Well, the rest of this is not going to take effect. Because she doesn't have a spell in hand, so she can't prep any anyway. Uh, she could have focused one of Death Maiden's breaches, and then Death Maiden could have uh, focused her spark prepped her spark, but I don't think we're going to, we're not going to bother. We're gonna, I want to get her breaches uh, open. So she has Lifebringer, it's a gem, gain an ether. If you have three or more open breaches, she doesn't. So she has four ether to spend. With four ether to spend, uh, what is she going to get? Hmm, I think, oh, I don't know. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to get another incinerating fist for Astria. I want to get all of her breaches open. And that is going to conclude her turn. She gets to put these in any order. She'll put them back this way. And then she draws five new cards for her next hand. One, two, three, four, and five. So her next hand will be three crystals, the incinerating fist, and a spark. Which is uh, good. Alright. That's Astria's turn. Back we go to turn order. Turn order time. You know the nemesis has to come up sometime, but not yet. We're back to Death Maiden. Alright, let's go to Death Maiden's area. Have her take her turn. 
All right, Death Maiden has the Bug Zapper all prepared and ready to go. Unfortunately, it just says cast deal one damage. If this damage is a minion, deal an additional damage. Well, it isn't the minion. It's going to be Bladius. So it's only going to do one damage, but we'll do as much damage to Bladius as we can. 39 down to 38. We'll take it. All right, up next, uh, we're going to have to look at her hand. Three crystals, the Neural Wreath, and the Spark. She's going to prep Spark to open Breach 1. Neural Wreath, focus any player's Breach. Any player may prep a spell in hand. She is going to go focus uh, the Breach of the Astria, and then Astria is going to prep a spell from her hand. So let's go over to Astria's area and do that. All right, this is working good. We're going to focus uh, Breach uh, 3. For Astria. I might have called it four. It's breach three for Astria, and she could prep a spell there. She's going to prep Incinerating Fist because it's just been focused. Awesome. Okay, uh, back we go to Death Maiden to have her finish up her turn. All right, Death Maiden not done yet. She still has three crystals remaining. Ah, uh, and with three crystals. She can focus her breach, which I think she's going to do. She'll focus her breach three for three crystals. Maybe not a good idea. And then we're going to put her cards back in any order. Ooh. And then she's going to drop five while she's got one. We're going to flip this over. One, two, three, four more cards. And her hand for the next episode, because she's gone twice now, will be Crystal Crystal, Ancient Kynolith, Spark. So she'll have two, three, four, she'll have five ether for next time and a spark spell. All right, back we go to turn order. Okay, turn order time. Is it going to be? Yes, it is the nemesis. I, I was wondering when that was going to happen. No cards in play, which is good. We got rid of that uh, Leviathan egg. However, we do need to play one of the nemesis cards. And it's parry. Gravehold suffers two damage. Any player discards a prepped spell. Okay, that's not horrible. Not horrible. So Gravehold's going to suffer two damage. Well, I don't like that, but uh, that takes it down to 26. And any player discards one. Any player discards a prepped spell. We're going to discard the prepped spell, the spark spell, from... Um, from Death Maiden, because why not? <laughs> because we have the Incinerating Fist prepped for Astria. And that's really, wow, that was uh, the Nemesis turn. So that was not too horrible. We did a little bit of damage to um, Gravehold. All right, ooh, wow, yep, yeah, the Nemesis goes again, eh? which means we're gonna end off our episode with Astria. All right, what do we have for the Nemesis? We have no cards in play. We do need to have a Nemesis card. It's a Lunge. Gravehold suffers four damage. Any player discards a card in hand. Okay, well, that doesn't sound too bad. So, wow, the Gravehold suffering all this damage. I do not like one, two, three, four, down to 22. And any player discards one card in hand, I think. Well, let me take a look here. What do we have? Astria. Astria's got these cards. If she gets rid of one card, she'll be down to two, and she can still focus her second breach. So I think Astria's going to get rid of, she's going to discard one card, just like so. I should put this on the right side of uh, my player character, Death Maiden. All right. Um... So that was it. That's a gain. The Nemesis just kind of smacking us upside the head a little bit. And not too bad. Down to 22 health. Well, up last for this episode is going to be, let's guess it, Astria. Astria gets to go. Let's go over to Astria's area and have her take her turn. All right, Astria has the incinerating fist ready to be fired off deal three damage. So she will deal three damage directly to Bladius because there's no minions out. One, two, three, down to 35. That still sounds like an awful lot of health. Astria now has a very minimal hand. She's going to spend the two crystals to focus uh, her breach two, and she may as well put the spark spell in breach two. 
leaving this open all right there we go and putting her cards in any order drawing up five cards she has one crystal to flip over her deck one two three four cards and what do we get here she's got life bringer uh neural wreath incinerating fist sparks she's got a pretty good hand <clears throat> for the next episode all right i'm going to zoom out we're going to wrap up our episode for today and that's going to wrap up our episode for today. So we've knocked five health off Gladius. Or Gladius. Gladius, I think we'll call him. Uh, and we have Astri at eight health. We are getting closer to having her have the breaches open. But I don't know what's in store with the Nemesis deck because no, I've not played this before. This is my first playthrough, of course, through Anzen Legacy. And... We'll see what happens. We have no spells prepped for Death Maiden, but we do have one spark spell prepped for Astria. So, and again, I'll shuffle these at the beginning of our next episode. So we're continuing on with Among the Ruins Chapter 2, Aeon's End Legacy. We need to smack Bladius down. Uh, if we need to draw a card here and we can't from the Nemesis deck, he runs away, we lose the scenario, of course. If... Gravehold goes to zero health. We also lose a scenario if both of our uh, Breach Mages get reduced to zero health, being knocked out, I guess, or exhausted. We'll also lose. How do we win? We smack this guy down to zero health. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. Once again, Aeon's End Legacy, Chapter 2, Among the Ruins. Join me next time with Astria and Death Maiden taking on Gladius.